Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of No Man's Sky. As always, I'm Captain Beefy with the Game Vault here today, and we are on our Let's Play character. And as you can see behind me, I built some stands for the different um, exocraft that we got so far. We're going to be going up to the Anomaly today and doing some stuff there. So let's cue the music up and we will get right to it. All right, well, we made it here. So what are we doing today? Well, a couple different things. First and foremost, we're going to go up and get whatever exocraft we don't have available and add them to our um, buildable items because I want to finish up making like a garage for all of them there. The only one I'm not going to get is the uh, underwater one, the Nautilon, because we're going to get that through the Dreams of the Deep mission and we won't be able to use it anyway in the garage because you know it's a aquatic vehicle so that would be kind of just a waste uh you know what we'll get some nitnit bud while we're here too since i'm growing plants and that's a good way to make uh, a little extra money all right let's get to it where are they here we go so yeah, we've got the Minotaur Geo Bay. The Pilgrim Geo Bay. And we already have that, that's good. And it's not really the most important thing to have, so I'm not gonna worry about that right now. We do have some nanites to spend, so let's take a look at what we can get for the starship. I'm pretty sure we have almost everything I want for it. Yeah, nothing really I want to spend money on right now. How about for our suit? And nothing big there either. We get a trade rocket. What the hell? One thing I would like to do is check out the gun that we have here. Anything good? C class. Not even going to look at it. Alright, what do you got for multi tools, buddy? Mm, I've got all that. I've got all the important stuff right now. All right, we're going to leave that as it is. We'll check this guy out. For the Exocraft, all right, we got all that. Minotaur has its own radar array. Um, High-powered sonar for the sub, but we'll worry about that when we get the sub. These aren't bad investments. Come on, buddy. Boot you out, but you know, I say that every time that it boots me out, it's so frustrating. And one more, these upgrades are nice because it gives you a little protection from different environmental issues that you might face while you're out there traveling around, so it's cool. All right, so we got all that taken care of. One thing we haven't really done with this character is interact too much with the Nexus. So I'm going to take a look at the Nexus real quick and see what's going on there today. Uh, but first, I think we've got a new item we can collect. Oh, look, we got a new cape coming up. That's badass. Right, well, we'll get these two new items. Those are done. That's really cool. I'm pretty sure, yeah, other than the egg, we're going to need an egg. 
Oh, we're getting more and more capes. I hope they fix that multiplayer issue that hides the capes from other players. It's a little annoying. Um, no, we're not constructing an underwater outpost. And... Uh, no, we're not really going to do any of that right now either. So the missions at the moment are pretty bad. But, you know, it's not the end of the world. Did we have a... No, we have 65 monstrosities. The Planetary Depot one. I'll get us some life support and some nanites, but I'm really just looking for the Quicksilver right now. So, yeah, we'll forget about that. Let's go on up and go to a different location for us. We'll see, uh, maybe we can find a cool system and then do a little bit of traveling and all that. Because I've got those um, barrels at my base, I've got tons and tons of warp fuel, so warping is never going to be an issue again as far as fuel cost goes. But I would like to do just a little exploring this time around. We'll see what's out there. Alright, so we'll start off here. Maybe we'll find a cool ship, and maybe we'll find a cool gun. I don't know. I'm just going to have to take a look around and see, but I do want to build the suit up a little bit. And um, just kind of up my character and, and get some better stuff for him, because he's doing alright right now, but we're really missing the mark on a few things. You know, like the suit size, having a quality gun upgrades for everything, you know, it's okay. We've only got one ship, which is fine, this ship is very serviceable. Not gonna cry about that one bit. But yeah, we're gonna check out some different systems. We missed our scan, I hate that. Hot planet with aggressive sentinels. Alright, so off to the galaxy map we go. And see if we can make it to the next Atlas station. Alright, well we may as well head here. We'll see what's going on here. Naka system, Euclid Galaxy first contact. Let's go ahead and claim this system. Now I have been farming the crap out of some stuff. Turning a bunch of oxygen and chlorine into more chlorine. I have almost a full container of that stuff, which is great. We'll be trading that in eventually for a big influx of cash. I don't really need money at this point, but having, you know, when, when the box gets full, it'll be good just to trade it in for for that influx of cash, because then we'll have it when we do need it, because I may come across a really nice ship that I like, and, you know, you never know. All right, what do we got? Verdant Planet, it's kind of nice. Nuclear, Icebound, Charred. This might be worth looking at. Sentinel activity looks good, so yeah, we don't have to worry about that. Maybe we'll get some missions from the uh, star base here, you know, the, the space station, and see if we can kill a bunch of creatures or something while we're on it to get some more good stuff like nanites, money. Who knows? Upgrades? Ouch. But we're also going to build our suit up a little bit while we're here and check out the gun. Because I definitely want a better gun. Super 
not exciting explorers are here. Hmm. Alright, well first and foremost, we do this. And we will put it right up here for now. I think we're going to work on our third row. So I'd like to unlock all of the boosted ones, just to see uh, when we can start redistributing things and making things really good. Yeah, just a little pistol that's really not impressive at all. You know what we'll also do while we're here? We'll check out the derelict freighter in the system. I know we had to kind of wing it and change things on the fly, but that's alright. These things happen. So yeah, we'll check out another derelict freighter. Maybe we'll get lucky. If we do get lucky, we'll build on that verdant planet. If we don't get lucky, then hey, we'll probably move on to uh, another system. So here's some creatures to kill. Here's some sentinels. And look at that, a multi-tool expansion slot. And all we need to do is collect uranium. I already have uranium. So... Let's see when that one pops up what it wants us to do. Source items for the client. Yeah, the uranium. I did. I think we're going to have to go to a depot, though. Yep. Alright. Yeah, those are great missions for when, uh, <laughs> you know, if you do like I do and carry around a bunch of resources, those are pretty much always worth taking. So I'll see you at the depot. Looks like we got a cool little hot rod flying around in this system. Check it out up there. It might be coming in for a landing. Ha! Huh. It definitely is coming in for a landing. C class. Hmm, it's got the real stubby little wings on it in the R2 unit. Uh. Not a huge fan myself, but if you're interested in locating this, we are in the Euclid Galaxy. Let's go to the photo mode real quick. And get you a good place to see it. Where can we put it? There we go. So go ahead and write those glyphs down. Or take a screenshot, whatever, and come back and get the ship uh, if, if you like it. I do like those hot rods quite a bit. And as you saw, it got here pretty much when we landed. But we're going to turn in our uranium. And be done with that. Yeah, it's not terrible. But it's definitely not better than what I've got. As far as aesthetically, at least for me. Although the one thing I do like is the big fin on the back, you know, that's kind of cool right above the cockpit. That's always, uh, that always helps sell it. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead, I think I have the, yep, I do, emergency signal scanner. So I'm going to pop that off, I go into pulse drive, and I'll see you when we get to the derelict freighter. And there it is. Hopefully this is a good one. Hopefully we get an S-Class uh, upgrade from it. That'd be kind of nice. We really haven't done much with our freighter yet. As far as sending out missions and all that, I should be doing that. It kind of lacks on that. Um, but it's a good way to make some, you know, kind of a passive income. All you got to do is keep generating fuel for it, which isn't the hardest thing in the world to do. Uh, to send out your frigates, and of course buying the frigates. We've got enough money to do that. That could be kind of lax on that, so... Maybe we'll start sending out some freighters, you know, or some frigates. Just to see uh, if we get anything decent coming back. We should get parts for the... 
Well, no, we won't get that yet. So I'm say once we get um, organic freighters, we'll be able to get parts for the living ship, and that's something that we definitely want to pursue as well. So, some salvage frigate modules would be nice. We've got probably enough storage in here. I'll get rid of that and that if I have to, but we should be okay. No little creepy creatures, that's a good start. But, you know, we're only in the first room, that could change very rapidly. Spitter ready because Lord knows what will come across. I'm not sure if any of these never have anything in it. I think some of them. I know, you know, they either have the the little aliens or the robots. I prefer fighting the robots to be honest. But I'm sure, we didn't miss a data module there. No. Or in here. Doesn't appear that we have. Alright, let's warm up a bit. See, I'm not sure if any of these ever have no enemies on it. Part of me thinks that might be the case sometimes, but I don't know. I can't really recall any such. Ah, oh, we got creatures. Alright, so these big pulsing horrific nests, if you get too close to them, you can hear them start to thump and then they'll bust out a bunch of uh, enemies. There's the spot we want to go to. So I'm going to open that door up and we'll try to plot a course over to it that makes sense. Yep, they're opening up. Alright, we're good. For the moment. I mean, I could sit there and fight, but, you know, what's the point right now? log snippets we can find. If we recover the captain's log, we recover it. If we recover the crew roster, we recover it. I'm not overly concerned about any of that. I just want to get to the end of this and see what the uh, what we get out of it. Well, even if it's an S-Class, these aren't my favorite... Um, freighters to do just because of the aggravation with the creatures. And they're not particularly hard. Now they're hard if you're not good. If, or not if you're not good, but if you don't have a decent weapon like the Pulse Fitter or something, these this can be very challenging. So you really want to kind of be careful with it. I bet you the door's over there. Alright, let's... Oh, that was over here. Gonna keep moving. Don't pop. Alright, it didn't pop. It's our next little region. Okay, we're getting we're getting there. More nests in here. Straight ahead is where we want to go. Let's you know, just get that popped off and warm ourselves up for a moment. And then away we go. Uh, 
didn't trigger any creatures in there. That's good. But, of course, our inventory is full. So let's... Oh, look. Oh, we got one already. Okay. So like I said, we're going to get rid of this and this. Whoop, not that. Alright, this room looks particularly awful. But there's the way out over there. And looks like we made it to the end. Alright, well let's go ahead and check out the computer and see what we get out of this one. And fabricate technology upgrade. A crappy C class, so yeah, not really worth coming to this one. But the frigate modules, they're priceless. We'll take them. Once we get out of here, oh, dirt, we'll go back to our uh, freighter and spend them, see what we can add to the freighter to make it better. So it's time to get that thing built up. And maybe while we're there, we'll also just uh, launch a frigate mission. As always, all right, back to the entrance like this, and we're out of here. That was a successful run. We didn't really have to get involved in any combat, but eh, not a great freighter. Do not recommend a visit. Not a great system overall, so we are going to ignore that planet. I'm not going to set up shop there or on any of these planets. I'd rather have a place where we can have a decent um, something something that draws there, whether it's a really badass ship or a good uh, derelict freighter, something like that. But we're too close. Alright, well I'll catch up with you when we get to the uh, freighter and we're back on board. All right, perfect. So let's go ahead and see what we can upgrade. We've got three all together. So... The extractor room, the industrial room, that's just an expansion, but we can make... That would clean up all of the industrial stuff, which would be cool, but that's not the most important stuff right now. This extractor either. Right, we got three. Let's do this one. I know it's not important, but having all of these available is kind of cool because now we can actually create a room. That. Yeah, where we could put our trade in there, fleet command, all that kind of stuff. We do not have a fleet command room yet, so we're going to build one of them right now. And we'll build it right off uh Oh, no, we do have one. Okay, I'm sorry. I forgot that. So let's go ahead and see if we can launch a fleet. I think we only have one ship. And it's a C-class, so is it combat? No, it's not. It's like exploration, I believe, right? Yeah. Alright, so yeah, we can't launch anything with that. That thing will just get damaged and destroyed, and that's not something that we really want to have happen right now. We don't have any ships in our squadron. So let's do that so we can at least start recruiting ships for the squadron. Gives us the potential for two. Those guys will help us out in combat. And maybe, um... Maybe we'll get lucky and find a combat frigate in the system. I'm not sure. I'll see if there's any groups of, uh... Freighters and frigates around. And if there are... Could take a look at them. But also, we've got to go...
Yeah, maybe over by the space station, so I'll catch up with you there. We do have that one mission to turn in, and we'll get ourselves something to uh, unlock another slot on our tool, even though our tool isn't really worth messing with. But let's see what we got here. For the price of 250 uranium. Worth every little bit of it. Oh look, we can hunt some low-level pirates for nip-nip buds. Yeah, we may as well do that too real quick. And we probably should start farming some nip-nip. I know um, Titus built a nice nip-nip base nearby, but it would be good to have our own. So let's go get this guy and kick his butt. standing increased with the gag. And let's see what we picked up in all that. This is something that I gotta put down here. Um, two of these. Suspicious packets. Okay, both fairly useful items. Good. come across lots of crystal sulfide in the game. You really got to look for it. You got to go to water planets or planets with a lot of water on it. Okay. Oh, that was weird. Did you guys see that? <laughs> it's like a derelict freighter just spawned in. Right here. But it quickly said, wait a minute. We have an issue. We'll get this returned and we will head back to base. And after this little interlude, I guess we'll just get back to work on uh, running missions and all that. I just kind of wanted a little freeform mission here today or a freeform session where we just kind of did whatever. Sometimes it's fun to get away and just play the game for the sake of playing the game and having fun. So we're going to wrap this episode up, guys. Thanks for joining me. As always, I'm Captain Beefy with the Game Vault. If you have not done so, please subscribe to the channel, ring that bell for notifications, and don't forget to leave a like on the video. It's a huge help. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, peace.